Hi guys, uh, Mom Vernon Kid here. <coughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, me and my brother were laughing about something earlier, uh, uh, just a while ago. Is we were talking wrestling, uh, as we always do. It. Um, welcome to the Penny Spot, as always. Once again, I apologize for the, the laughing. Uh, whatever, it's okay. case. It's my show. Um, well, I'm here to talk about this. Uh, it has come to light that once again, um, with the the uh, how can I put it, the abundance of new shows coming out, uh, coming out, especially that are shows that are that first were movies, or we're we're starting to see like abundance of them coming out now. Like I said, Limitless has this TV series now, which follows uh, a couple of years after the first uh, the movie. Uh, I watched the show; it's actually really good. Minority Report uh, has a show out, and that that show takes place 13 years after the 2002 movie. And I actually watched that show too, and that that's pretty good too. Um, there's a uh, Rush Hour show coming out. Uh, on CBS soon. Um, I'm uh, I know who's playing Lee, but I'm not sure who's playing Chris Tucker's character again. Uh, Jim Jim uh, John Fu, I believe, is Jim Fu is the the actor who played Jin in the Tekken movie. He's gonna play uh, Lee in that. Uh, and now recently figuring out that once again on CBS, um, uh, we're getting another buddy cop show. Uh, a buddy cop show based off a popular movie franchise, and uh, it's actually one of my favorite uh, cop buddy cop franchises, and that is none other than Lethal Weapon. Yeah, let that sink in for a little bit for you guys. Uh, let that sink in. Lethal Weapon, the the series that starred actors Danny Glover. Mel Gibson, uh, other actors like Joe Pesci came along, Rene Russo, Chris Tucker, oh, not Chris Tucker, Chris Rock, excuse me, uh, Chris Rock, uh, this was, this is a franchise that I can continue to watch in terms of the movies, you know, the movies I, you know, usually on I, IFC, they show, they'll show all four movies back to back. Uh, and I'll watch more. I love the first, I love the second, the third, it was great. The fourth one, you know, pretty much in symbolic ended the, the franchise completely. You know, there was talk of, you know, bringing it back and things like that, bringing a, a fifth one. But, you know, I'm just, it's not just the fact that both Mr. Glover and Mr. Gibson are getting older. They are, they're older now and, It'd be a little bit weird to have them now still trying to do what they did back in their first one. So it'd be it'd be really weird. But this is still kind of weird in a sense too because me and my brother we were talking about it, we we're like okay so if it's it's a go ahead it is a go ahead they they CBS wants it to happen but it's 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 to the point it's like where does this where is this series going to take place? If it's canon to the franchise, you know the movie franchise. It's can if it's canon like all the other um, movie TV shows that I just said, Limitless, Minority Report, things like that. Where is where would this take place? You no, know, would this take place right after the the fourth one, or will it take place a few years after the fourth one? Well, maybe you know. Murtaugh and Riggs are like, they maybe now are doing more desk work <laughs> than, than uh, on patrol and stuff like that. You know, that's that's the kind of the difficult thing about when you're making a TV series based off of, off of, uh, based off of movie-wise, is the fact that now you got to take into account if, is it going to stay, is it going to be canon, or is it going to be its own separate world? And... Honestly, if CBS wants this to go forward, honestly, I may have to go with 
being its own separate world because I cannot see this literally being a direct directly canon to the franchise you know what I'm saying you know it, it would feel really weird because because of, in some sense it's like will if, if it's canon then will we see maybe cameos from Danny Glover and Mel Gibson uh, probably if they did make a canon I could probably say yeah Danny, Danny Glover would probably make cameos uh, but Mel Gibson, I, I wouldn't uh, say no. Nah. Uh, but I don't hate the idea. I just feel that CBS really needs to think about, you know, where is it gonna, where is this gonna take place? Is this gonna be canon, or is it gonna be its own world? Personally, to me, guys, I feel that it should be its own world, its own separate universe. You know, because if you 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 you're pulling off. That is canon from the first four from the four movies. Then it's you're gonna get kind of you're gonna confuse maybe audience members that haven't seen the series. You know, that haven't seen that series. And trust me, there are probably are people out there in the world that have not seen that franchise. You know, there, there have been people out there who have never seen another great franchise that I love, Back to the Future. And so. You know, you, you got to look at it from that standpoint. CBS should really look at it from that standpoint. But this is kind of uh, interesting. But I'm, I'm for one, am now the older I get now with these type of things, I start to really kind of keep an open mind about okay, where they can go with it. Uh, I wish that CBS nothing but the best with this. But you know, I'll always, even if they do get different actors to play. Merton Riggs, you know, I'm always going to remember Merton Riggs as Danny Glover and Mel Gibson, you know, I'm, you know, they'll, they'll always be embedded in the mind as those characters, but, uh, I'm open to it, I'm just wondering where it's going to take place, so, uh, that's pretty much my thought, my opinion on the subject, guys, yes, I am a Lethal Weapon fan, that's why I want to talk about it here on the Opinion Spot, if you are a Lethal Weapon fan, tell me in the comment section below, as always, uh, what is your opinion on this? Uh, do you feel that you like my idea where maybe CBS should go a, a different route instead of staying canon? Or do you feel the show should be canon? Uh, <clears throat> but other than that, oh yeah, and one more thing. You know, I, I, I would always say, I, there are probably going to be people out there that will, well, it should be canon. It could be Riggs's son and Murtaugh's grandson but then it's like we we just talked about that early me and Malcolm we did that my brother and I we actually did that not too long ago and we did the math those boys would still be like kids if if they you're taking it from the timeline that the the movies came out and everything like that you know so no I, I can't really see that either but that's just that's just I'm just giving you some ideas guys just to keep that in mind but other than that, guys, as always, thank you for watching. This is the Opinion Spot, where your opinion matters. I love hearing you guys' input, as always. You know the drill. Follow me here, Tumblr, or Twitter, Facebook. I'm all over, as always. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Trust me. Trust in me, and I will entertain you as best I can. You guys take care, and I will see you guys next time, as always. Peace.